every so often I like to go in to our community and pull you all to find out what are you struggling and to no surprise one of the biggest struggles that I hear from you time and time again is having pain down there. What does pain down there mean? It could be all kinds of different problems. It could be chafing, it could be saddle sores, it could be pelvic floor issues, it could be soft tissue pain or bruising or other things I'm probably not even thinking of right now. And one of the biggest fallacies in the world of cycling is that that's just part of being a cyclist is putting up with that pain. And that is not true. You should not have to put up with that pain. There are solutions. And I'm gonna walk you through those in this episode. One of the very first things you should try is getting a new saddle and particularly a women's specific saddle. If you are still riding with the saddle that came with your bike when you bought it, try to upgrade. Most saddles that come on a bike, unless you're buying a bike from a company like Live, it's gonna be a men's specific saddle. Those saddles are not designed for women. And one of the most effective ways you can deal with saddle pain is by buying a women's specific saddle. Now there are lots of these on the market. We've reviewed a bunch at Femme Cyclist and I will include a link in the show notes to our favorite saddles. The one that I am riding right now is an Ergon women's specific saddle and I love love it, but everybody has a different preference on their saddle. So it's worthwhile trying a couple. It's worthwhile if you can going into a shop that has loaner saddles, not all shops offer that, but the really good ones do. So that's something worth asking about. And the other thing you wanna think about when choosing a women's specific saddle is your sit bone width. We all have different pelvic widths. And you're gonna be most comfortable on a saddle that's the right size and width for your body. There are multiple different ways you can find out your sit bone width. You can do this at home. There are lots of YouTube videos about there about how to measure sit bone width. You can sit on a piece of memory foam and measure. You can put some tin foil on a carpeted stair and sit on it and measure that width. Another great way is to go get a professional bike fit. And I will talk about that in a moment. But if you go and get a professional bike fit as part of that, they will also measure your sit bones. And some bike shops will measure your sit bones for free without even having to pay for that professional bike fit. But again, that just kind of depends on the quality of the bike shop you have in your town, unfortunately. The next thing to try is switching up your bike shorts. If you are brand new to cycling and you have not yet invested in a pair of good quality bike shorts with a good chamois, start there. If you already have a pair of bike shorts, try something different, try a different pair of bike shorts. If you might wanna spend a little bit more money to get a little bit higher end chamois, you might want to try a thinner chamois than what you have been on or a thicker chamois. Again, this is so much personal preference. And there's even the option to try to go without a chamois. I know this is crazy. It's something that I personally have done for mountain biking and bike packing is that I don't wear a chamois anymore. So that's an option too. You can try different bike shorts and I'd suggest, I know it's not cheap, but picking a couple different kinds or a couple different pairs and seeing what ends up being most comfortable for you. The other thing about chamois is some are really narrow and some are really wide and some are shorter and longer and it's so dependent on your area down there that that's another thing that I would consider. I have a very like narrow area down there and if I have too big of a chamois, it's like wearing a diaper and it's miserable and it rubs and it chafes. So if you're having issues with that, again, just consider trying a different chamois on. The next thing is to get a professional bike fit. And this is probably the most effective way to address problems down there. If you are brand new to biking, you're not ready to invest in a professional bike fit yet, try some of the other things. Try getting a saddle, a new saddle. Try getting a new pair of bike shorts. But if you have been suffering from pain down there for years or decades, that's not acceptable and it's the best thing you can do for yourself is to invest in the money to get a professional bike fit. 
what a professional bike fit will do for you. One, they will do the measurement of your sit bones to help you get a correct saddle. But there's more to it than that. They will also make sure that your position on the bike is correct so that your weight is back on your sit bones rather than forward on your soft tissue or that you're not pedaling crooked that's putting more pressure on one side of your body or one butt muscle than the other. If you were in pain down there, but also if you were in pain anywhere, if you were having shoulder pain, if you were having back pain, all of these things can be very, very addressable with a bike fit. You should not have to suffer on a bike. We put through ourselves through enough suffering by sitting there for hours or by doing our intervals. We shouldn't be in physical pain just from sitting on a bicycle. The next thing, and this is such a simple thing, but it really helps a lot of women who are just suffering from saddle sores or chafing, is to use a chamois cream. Chamois cream provides a layer between your chamois and your butt or your chamois and your thighs where it's rubbing and having that like barrier in there can help address chafing issues. I like a chamois cream that's designed for women because we have different stuff down there than men and the chamois cream needs to not burn. It needs to be pH balanced. Otherwise we can end up with yeast infections and stuff from using it. So for a women's specific chamois cream, again, I will link some of those in the show notes. Give that a shot. You just need a little bit, apply it directly to your butt cheeks where you would generally get chafing. And some women get chafing also on the insides of your thighs. So it's okay to apply it there as well. And if you already have chafing and you're just like wanting to get back on the bike the next day, in addition to chamois cream, I really like good old A&D. It's a diaper cream and you can put that on like before bed, before you go out and ride. And that really does help too with like helping heal the shake chafing you already have and allow you to continue riding. My next tip is to take off your bike shorts right away. If you drove to the trailhead or drove to your group ride, when you get back to the car, don't drive home. Even if it's a short drive, take those bike shorts off right away. I just keep a pair of gym shorts in my car or a skirt that's easy to like, you know, do a change room in the parking lot, put the skirt on, pull the shorts off. If you don't, you're leaving all this moisture down there that can cause yeast infections. A lot of women end up with yeast infections from wearing their dirty bike shorts after they're done riding. It can lead to rashes and saddle sores because you've got bacteria down there. If you suffer from any of those issues, yeast infections, rashes, make sure you're taking off your bike shorts right away. And then when you do get home, go ahead and take a shower. A lot of women also have pelvic floor issues. Sitting on a bicycle, there's a lot of pressure. And if you have already had a baby, the chances are you have those pelvic floor issues and they're gonna be exacerbated by being on your bike. And you shouldn't just have to put up with that. There are things you can do. One, if your issues aren't that bad, go online, go on YouTube. There are some great pelvic floor yoga videos on there that you can do to help do some exercises to help your strengthen that pelvic floor. The other thing is to suck up your pride and go to a physical therapist that specializes in pelvic floor issues. This will help you so much on the bike and off. And it's something that we just don't talk about enough and it needs to be destigmatized. You should go to your doctor. You should ask for help. You should go get exercises to help strengthen those muscles. And it is not at all uncommon. If you're having pelvic floor issues, do not assume you are alone. There are so many female cyclists I hear from who are going through this also, and you shouldn't have to suffer in silence or suffer alone. The final thing is to give it time. This is not for you if I already mentioned you've been cycling for a long time and you are still suffering from pain down there. If you've been suffering for weeks, months, years, decades, this doesn't apply to you. But if you are brand new to cycling, and like I hear from a lot of women who've just started going to cycling classes at their gym or they've just gotten their first bike and they're going out for rides, but they're having pain down there, yes, you should start to take some action, get a better saddle, get a better pair of bike shorts, do those things, but also know that you might just need to give it a little time. As you start biking more and more, 
you build up those butt muscles and it gives you more support on your saddle. You also start to develop calluses down there. And yes, that is a real thing, especially if you decide to go like me and you don't wear a chamois anymore. The reason I've been able to do that is because I have over time developed calluses down there that really help protect me. And yes, that's kind of gross, but it is the reality and it is part of being a female cyclist. So you don't need to be embarrassed about calluses down there. That is normal, helpful part of the process. If this video helped you, would you please do me a favor and subscribe? If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe there. If you are listening on Apple Podcasts, subscribe on Apple Podcasts or wherever you happen to be listening. That would be so very appreciated. And if if you like it, also share it on social media, share it with a girlfriend. The more we can help share this information with one another and support and lift each other up, the better off we all are. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy riding.